Welcome to another episode of Business Monday, where we come together to help you in supporting your business. Today's topic is about how to rise in your business. As we all know, business is not easy. We do need a good supporting team, a good system to help us to thrive in our business. Today, I have an expert here, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please tell us a little bit more about you. Hi, Martha. Thank you so much for having me here today. I'm very excited to share a bit of uh, my insight with you and, um, and your followers and viewers. So, yep, my name is Laura Jindak and I am the CEO of OmniRise Training. So I predominantly focus on uh, personal development and sales training classes I'm also uh, the Australian ambassador for Pursuit 365. And I do also help uh, a lot of other young entrepreneurs become more visible and credible. That sounds amazing because I do feel like that entrepreneur, a lot of the times that we actually work alone. And when we work alone, there's a lot of things that we don't know. So can you tell us a little bit about your experience in running your business and what drew the inspiration to fuel your business venture? Inspiration, yeah. So for me, my inspiration came from my sales background. So I have 20 years of being in the sales industry. And um, to be honest, I absolutely loved, uh, loved every moment of it. But of course, anyone that knows sales, corporate, uh, long, long hours, a lot of chasing targets, so it can weigh you down and tire you out uh, mentally, physically, and emotionally. So my inspiration obviously came from my true passion in sales, and I then decided to, you know, twist it a little bit and make it work more for me on my terms as far as hours um, and lifestyle. So I decided to take all my knowledge and pass it on. So that's where I got my inspiration was really to just follow my passion, but just mm. apply myself a little bit differently, if that makes sense. That is so cool. So um, your training platform, how did you actually start that? So basically I sat down for eight months and I thought about all the processes that I went through that made me a highly successful salesperson. And I, I, I just wrote everything down. I went step by step. I followed back to, you know, every little thing that I did that got me where I was through my good times, bad times, uh, the observations also from working with other salespeople, other sales managers. And I really plucked out what was the essential key ingredients to being, you know, successful in that field. And I just put it all down on paper and I structured, you know, strategies and um, put it all down in a format that was easily uh, presentable and easily digestible for people that either was starting in the sales industry or already working in the sales industry but became lazy, dormant or was just stuck in old habits that wasn't serving them anymore. Um, and, and that's who I work with basically. Mm, that is very interesting. As people that who are wanting to start their business, it is important to have a look at what they have in hand already. I uh, think that a lot of new business startups they actually think that, oh, do I have the enough skill? Do I have enough knowledge for it? But without knowing that, hey, you've been working for a little while now, there is that experience and knowledge within you, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I think when you go on your own, naturally you're going to have some level of doubt because, you know, whenever you do something new, doubt kicks in and says no you can't are you sure this is not for you it's something you know it's out of your comfort zone but um you just gotta just take what you already know like you said and just implement it don't put any added pressure on yourself to be better i mean obviously there's you know always room to learn and get extra knowledge to support you in your new adventure but just knowing that what you do and what you already know is enough to start you off 
and then things just follow, you know, naturally from there. I agree with you. I was seeing a post in another business group and they're saying about investments that we are putting into our business. And I do think that as a business owner, we need to look at what kind of investment we are putting in from our time, our effort, the hours, strategy, planning. And another big one is capital. Uh, Do you think that you do need a capital to start your own business? Most people would say yes, of course, naturally. I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no because essentially if you if you're sitting here thinking I want something, but I don't have this to get what I want, you are already putting up a barrier. Okay. Now here's the thing. If you want something, a business, whatever it is, and obviously we're talking business. So if you want to have your own business, essentially the idea itself is enough. But you have to be committed mentally, emotionally, and physically to that commitment. And that means have faith. So faith in your own idea means that you walk in it blindly. If you don't have the capital, no need to worry because if you are confident enough now, and and I say confident, confident within yourself, if you're religiously inclined, you can say you're confident in God. If you're spiritually inclined, you can say you're confident in the universe. If you want something, the right people, the right resources, the right situations will be presented or given to you that will then take you to that next step whether that be you receive money from somewhere, you collaborate with someone, um, you have an opportunity where you don't need the money to, you know, learn something new or put your your business out there. So, no, my answer is I don't think that you need a capital. Uh, what you need is faith, like I said, in yourself and the right situations just appear. But you do need to have the courage to grab that opportunity once you see it. Mm-hmm. And once once you do that, one thing will lead to another. You will attract everything that you need to have your desire fulfilled. Mm, that is true because um, like a lot of the times that when we start a business, I feel like that we don't understand the investment that we is actually needed. Um, it is true that we have to be consistent. We have to be very clear about our direction. What do we want in return before we actually put into that investment? Whether it will be your time, your effort or your capital, that is all different based on the whatever business that you're actually starting. And I think that in the online space, space these days there's a lot of video on YouTube teaching you how to do different kind of business without having the actual capital to do it so there's actually a lot of different opportunity out there isn't it exactly that's exactly right like I said when you when you say to yourself I want this you can't let obstacles limit you Because obstacles are going to come all the time. I don't have enough money or I don't have enough time or I don't know the right people or I don't have enough experience. These things are going to constantly be there. But if you just try to remove these distractions and stay focused on your target, which is your business, if that is your true desire, like I said, the right things will be presented to you in the right time. You'll find the money. You'll find the right people. You'll find that right situation. But like you said, being consistent, so staying consistent and loyal to your to your dream, and it will happen. That is so true. I see a lot of people, like the truth is, if you are a startup business, 80% of us won't make it to the first for the first three years because of we give up too easily, too quickly, and we're not doing the right thing. What I mean by that is that it, we are our environment. We need to be in the right environment with the right people to be able to actually support our business. They were always going to be hater outside. There's always going to 
should be people that doesn't understand you. So instead of actually drawing into it and having that self doubt, like what you just mentioned, it mm. is about finding the right people to align with you and to support you. So how important is networking to you? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the word networking is, you know, it's who, who is your closest people around you, right? So, and usually they're going to be friends. So networking is 100% essential because they, they become your friends and friends help each other. You cannot succeed in life, let alone in a business, without support, Okay. Even if your your clients should become your friends, right? So if you don't have a, a strong networking system, who do you go to when you need to ask a question? Who do you go to when you say, let's collaborate? Who do you go to when you say, you know, what are you doing at the moment? Can I take something from you or can we help each other? Can I help you? Networking is 100% essential. You cannot do something on your own and think that you're going to make it because you need someone to buy a product or service. You need someone that's going to help in some way. So the, the, the bigger the network you have, the bigger support system you have, uh, the bigger audience you have. And this is then, you know, what your foundation is based on is everyone around you. That's part of your, your business and, and your life essentially. To be honest with you, I first when I first go into this uh, online space, doing my online coaching, one of the uh, the fear that I have was networking, because in my back of my mind, somewhere in there, someone have told me that networking is about sales. You're going into a networking meeting, and then it's all about selling people, selling all the stuff that you're doing. What is your view on that? Um, look, it's it can be. It can be that you network and someone's trying to sell you something and that's okay because essentially you want to try and sell them something too, right? Everything in life is about give and take or that trade. So don't be afraid. Everything in life that we do is selling. You know, I'm selling my personality to you. You're selling your personality to me. I'm selling my audience to you. You're selling your audience to me. So we're always give and take if that makes sense, don't be afraid. If you are afraid of being uh, sold to, that means that you're probably not ready to, to go into business because you have a fear of someone else taking something away from you or influencing you. So that's something that you need to work on is um, that confrontation to say, I don't really want to buy anything but I'm happy to listen because I may need it now or I might need it in two months or in two years or I just might need you as a connection that leads me to something else or vice versa. So remove that fear of, you know, oh, someone's going to try and sell me something so I don't want to get into a group meeting or something. That is just a lack of your ability to um, to, what's the, to discern whether it's something that you need or something that you don't need now or in the future and for you to be confident to say, no, thank you, or actually I didn't even know I needed that, but now I'm glad that I did attend, you know. Mm, I hear you because when I first joined a networking group, which is called Be Connected that I'm with, I was honestly scared coming into it. I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to say. Am I going to look stupid? Like, you know, they're all entrepreneurs out there. Yes, I've been wanting my business for 19 years, but it doesn't mean that I know what I'm saying. I'm only a makeup artist and stuff like that. I have all those negative thought going through my head. And to my surprise, when I joined the group and starting to get to know these people the support that I got was enormous it bring me up into so many venues that I did not even think it was possible and it was just because of networking and I love that that you reference that we are it's all about helping one another it's not about taking money from you and then not giving you something in return and you're absolutely right about if you are fear of people selling things to you you may not have the business owner mindset to actually run your business 
guess what? A business needs venue and and we <laughs> and and uh money to actually be called a business. If not, you're doing a charity or a very expensive job. That is something that we all have to understand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That that's right. Um, and like you said, it's it really is networking for me has has changed my life. Um, you know, just with me being you know part of Pursuit Three Sixty Five and and helping um, so many different entrepreneurs from around the world, especially Australia, um, you know that get recognised um, for what they do. I've built solid friendships that are now leading to other business projects that you like. You said just things that you would never think would lead to you know just making that one connection has turned to a thousand connections and around the world where you would never have access to these people you know so it's so amazing i completely hear you and i always say to people not everyone is a business owner it is okay to have an employee mindset it is okay to actually be that person that you are happy at where you are but if you're talking about business it is about logic it is about strategy it is about planning and it is about your network your network is your net worth so it is something that for all of us here, either you have a business that you're just starting up or you are already in business and wanted to expand and thrive in your business, it is something to think about. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you just take a look at, you know, most billionaires and millionaires, they have a lot of social network events because you got to, you know, you got to know the right, like you've got to hang out with the right people to to, to talk about great ideas. You know, if you think that you're going to be isolated and do something on your own and you don't want to connect, you're holding yourself back, right? So every every group has a community that supports each other, um, whether that be, you know, even when it comes to religion, like churches and or whatever, support groups for whatever or country clubs or but you're still networking. It's still it's still friends that you have discussions with and you, you might say one thing and that one thing leads to something completely different and all of a sudden there's a new business idea, you know. But, yeah, you've got to be, you've got to be mingling. You've got to be out there mingling 100%. Mm, I completely hear you. So for those of us that who never really tried networking or was like me who was scared in networking, we encourage you to go and show up, be heard and learn about yourself more. Because once you know who you are, you can start to build your confidence back so you can shine the way you are. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being the best. It is about understanding your goal, your talent, your spirit, so you can match with someone else. It's like what my friend once told me. It's about pulling power from everyone to help your success. And in return, do it the same for the other people as well. That's what networking is about. Exactly. It's it's really just a friendship. You know, you, you'd, you'd go and help a friend and that friend would help you as well. It's really just friendships, but they're just based on rather than you talking about, you know, what should I wear today and get, this is what I'm cooking, you're saying, you know, who did you connect with today and what did you sell or what services or, you know, they're just different conversations, but they're friends essentially, they're friends. That is beautiful. So for people who want to know more about your business, how do they reach out to you? Uh, to well, Facebook is my uh, common hangout, so I'm more visible on on Facebook. Uh, my website, of course, um, Omni Rise Training. Um, that's that's the easiest way to connect through me. Of course, you know LinkedIn, Instagram, but Facebook I'm more present on, and website. Wonderful. So I'll be putting her contact into the show notes later so everyone can reach out to her. Lauren, it has been such a beautiful journey with you today. Thank you for sharing us the power of networking and seeing you thriving in your business. It just gives us that inspiration. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much, Martha. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'm so grateful to have to been on your segment today. Thank you everyone for watching and listening to us for another episode of Business Monday. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a wonderful day.